Well, hello. Uh, welcome from our house to yours. Uh, welcome to the Living Jesus Devotionals. It's our walk through the Gospel of John. And this week we're pressing the pause button on one specific part of Jesus' monologue in the Gospel of John. It's these few verses that tell us so much about how God remains present with us, even though Jesus has returned to the Father. Uh, so Joy is going to be reading a section from John chapter 14. So verses 15 and set through 17, Jesus said, If you love me, obey my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another paraclete to be with you forever, the Spirit of truth, who the world cannot receive because it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him, for he dwells with you and will be in you. So thanks, Joy, for, for, for reading that. Um, you know, Jesus promises us that if we believe in him, uh, if, if, we, if we love him, it isn't just about that we have to do things. Mm -hmm. um, it's also that he's going to send us the spirit of truth, whom he calls the paraclete. Now, we've reflected on some ways uh, that, that uh, we've experienced the, whole, the Holy Spirit, the paraclete, as our helper, mm -hmm. um, as our advocate. Right. Uh, today, let's, let's think about a third dimension. Okay. Uh, he stands with us. He shows up. Um, I think of God's promise to Joshua, be strong and courageous, uh, do not be frightened and dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Or we maybe think of Psalm 23, this great uh, verse in there, it says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Yeah, and when I, when we were reading the, this passage and we talked about um, about that part of the paraclete, I, it brought to mind um, when we were in Syria. Mm, if yeah. you remember, um, we, we had left Lebanon and we were going into Syria. We were going to the church at Aleppo. And it was a, um, a four-hour treacherous journey through um, a land that was occupied by ISIS. It was terrifying, particularly to me, and I, I think I mentioned this in one of the other devotions. But... Um, the entire time, I mean, I literally just prayed, God, God, protect us. God, be with us. Um, you know, we are are here to to come alongside your church in difficult places. And as soon as we drove into Aleppo again, we were going 110 miles an hour at times, which which was totally terrifying. But um, we pulled up in front of the, the church, which is, was a beautiful building that had been rebuilt because the original had been bombed um by ISIS, and over a hundred children were welcoming mm -hmm. us, singing mm -hmm. praises, mm -hmm. clapping their hands, yeah, and, and just, it was that. like, God delivered us, God was with us, that entire journey. Yeah, that was something. Just just to, um, so that we could come alongside yeah. them, yeah. I remember that. That was and pretty that was powerful. Two years ago. Yeah, that was just that was a couple awesome. of years ago, and you, maybe the people at Bethel, um, May remember that some of you all thought we were crazy to go, and and you just prayed. That's all we said. Just pray, and and God did. God did show up. He was with yeah. us every step of that journey. And he? everyone we met there too. Yeah. And then they said the same thing. So this this is just a, an opportunity to reflect. I think not get theological, but really just reflect on how God is with us. Uh, the mm -hmm. Holy Spirit is the one who is with us. And, and so reflect on that maybe today for, for yourselves. Pray that God be with you. Um, it's, a, it's, it's not just empty words. Uh, let's pray. Spirit of truth, thank you for this wonderful relationship that we have with you. Thank you that we can experience your presence in whatever ways people need it today. Gladden our hearts and build our trust in you. In your name we pray. Amen. Thank you all for joining us for this uh, today's uh, Per, today's um, devotion. devotion. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Got lost in my word. We'll look forward to seeing you all tomorrow. And until then, have a blessed day. Bye bye.